Jim. Hi, this is an exclusive interview with Young Star Media. This is Candy, um, and this is Elementary. What's up, what's up? New York City, all over the world, international hustler, Dollarmentary, Times Square hustler, you know what it is. Okay. Our first question for you is who exactly is Dollarmentary? It's me, baby. Nah, but um, let me stop playing. Dollarmentary is me. It's myself, you know, used to be called Stack a Dollar. A lot of names, they used to call me Stacks in the streets. And I just came up with the name Dollar Mentry when I was making my own documentary. So now I came up with the name Dollar Mentry, you know what I'm saying? And I'm really just, like, exploiting the money, man. I'm all about the money. I'm exploiting the evils and the goods of the money. And that's mm -hmm. what my name is about, you know what I'm saying? So that's me and that's what I'm about. You know okay. what I'm saying? That's what it is. And now how long you been doing this? How long have you been doing music for? Uh, I've been doing music all my life, man. I mean, right now I'm 28, 29, 10, 29 this year. And um, I've been doing music for like 15 years, man. A lot of people know me, a lot of people don't know me. You know what I'm saying? I've been off and on the scene, independent my whole life. So okay. it is what it is, man. Well experienced. Yeah. Who were your biggest influences in your music career? My biggest influence was niggas like, let's say, I'm going to keep it real with you, man. That's my shit right here. I'm gonna keep it real with you. My biggest influence is myself. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me stop playing. It's gonna be like that. But um, I like all oh, everybody. Everybody's an influence. Anybody that's, that's speaking their mind and putting it down real hard, going hard, that's, that's an influence. People like Melly Mel way back. I'm gonna start from way back. Melly Mel to Dougie Fresh to Rakim to BDP, Karis One. I'm giving you real legends. You know what I'm saying? Brad mm -hmm. Man, of course, that's my dude. You got a Run DMC. I'm giving you raw bass for his hate. I'm giving you legends that I fuck with. The only people that's legend. Tretch from Naughty by Nature. King Son. You know what I'm saying? These are people who made hits that made songs that mean something to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A lot of new cats is hot, but those are my influences, man. Real talk. Okay. Cool G Rap. Number one guard for the Cool G Rap. Yeah. What's your view on hip-hop today compared to when you first started? Mm. It's a good question. Hip hop evolved, man. I'm not mad at hip hop. I love hip hop. I love um the concept what common sense made way back. I used to love her. You know what I'm saying? I still love her. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. I might make the song. Don't bite my concept. I still love her. That's coming soon. I'm gonna write that tonight. But I'm. It's about. I still love hip hop. I'm not mad where she went with it. It's it's hip hop. It's everybody's minds. It's yours. It traveled the world. Everybody love it. All races. Everybody do hip hop. I'm open to hear all hip hop from everybody. Mm -hmm. So hit me up. You know what I'm saying? I don't. This, the current state of hip hop is cool. I feel it should, they should just they should service every lane right. They should let every lane shine. Meaning the common sense lane, the Kanye West lane. You got the um the gangster lane, the Fifty Cent lane. You know what I'm saying? You got the dudes who just calm with it lane. That do the lover boy fabulous. I'm LL. You know what I'm saying? You got the wow. The, the um political lane. Let everybody let, let every lane shine. Let, let every lane get out there, man. If you know what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, what do you feel you're bringing to the game? Good question again. Well, what I'm bringing to the game is something new because after me trying to do this for over 10 years and everything, I learned a lot and I became more than an artist. You know what I'm saying? So I was sort of what Jay Z was doing. I'm gonna pick up where he left off when he quit rapping. It's like I'm bringing the business, entrepreneurship, and the artists all in one. Sort of what 50 Cent is doing, but I'm just taking it to the next level. You know what I'm saying? I'm a workaholic, just like Pac, just like anybody else, man. I learned from watching the best, so it's a wrap, mm -hmm. man. I'm taking it to newer heights. The level of being conceptual and being free-minded, not following what's on the radio every day, not following the same program. We're trying to get everybody back to being free. So we're going to free everybody's mind and souls again. That's what I'm doing, man. Okay. What? Uh, who, does your <clears throat> who does your production? My production, I got numerous cats, but my sole producer is Vinny Idol from d Block. He with d Block now. He doing beats for them, but he's a free agent doing beats for everybody. So don't think when he's doing beats for d Block, nobody else can get beats from Vinny Idol. Hit him up. Um... Idolized music, MySpace slash Idolized music. Vinny Idol is the hardest cat. Me and him been in the grind since 1994, and his mom's crib in his bedroom laying songs down. I got catalogs with Vinny, so it is what it is, man. I got my man Moose Mussolini. I got my man Cause. Um, I got Mad Cat, Beatbox King from Virginia. Go to beatboxking.com. I make beats too on the low. Shh. 
So we got some shit. But Vinny Idol, my man. That's who do all my beats. Okay. Oh, oh, my man Zay from Long Island. I got Zay, 326. Mm hmm. Um, you want to tell us a little bit about any of your new or up and coming projects? Um, bro, I got mad shit in the works, man. It's just crazy. Um, I got my new mixtape, Rest in Peace to Sean Bell, shot by the cops 50 times. I got a mixtape dedicated to Sean Bell, his family. It's called Killer Coppers, you know what I'm saying? Protect and Serve. I'm dropping that soon as I come back in the um, end of April. I got a video done for that mixtape. <laughs> You're gonna see that in the street. I got um, another mixtape called The Best of the Best. Um, I might change the name of it, but it's just me and my crew, Ekadon, my whole crew. We just got mad songs. We just releasing to the public. Free food. Just letting them know what it is that we still doing us, man. And oh, I got DVDs crazy. I got the um, Reg on Wild, Young Star Media DVD out now. That's the whole Reg on Wild tour, Midwest, West Coast. We did that last year. And um, we just put the DVD out. I got the European tour, Dollar Mintry, go overseas, Amsterdam, Croatia, all that same shit. That 50 so 50 of them doing, we doing it too. I got that footage, a whole new DVD dropping the European tour. So stay tuned. I got the Red and Mac pre-movie promotional tour DVD coming out. So I'm just working. All right, that's what's up. Do you have any set goals right now? I mean, my goals is just to make good music, man. Make good music, make good connections and good power moves, man. Just make money, man. And just spend the money. It ain't all about the money getting it crying. I'm spending the money, man. I'm documentary. I'm spending the money. That's what I'm doing, man. Okay. Uh, now we see you found your niche in hip hop. How long did it take you to find that? Shit, I just told you, take 15 years, real talk. It take a lot of people a lot of time to find out who they are, what they could really do. When I first came into the game, I was more of an artist thing. Like, yo, I want to rap, I want to rap, rapping in these ears, running up on cats, giving them CDs. When dudes doing so much rapping, nobody, who, who's left to do the business? That's the whole thing. Who's left to manage cats, set up bookings, set up hotels, publicists? There's so many other jobs to do besides rapping. So I'm just trying to let everybody out there know, like, yo, you ain't got to be the motherfucking rapper star and, and be the star, you know what I'm saying? You can do you. Come manage a motherfucker, come help a nigga coordinate his album, A&R, put together, do some shit, help a nigga promote, do promotion or something, show niggas you a team player, you a worker with a team, and then dudes will give you a shot, man, and that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. Being in this industry, who are you affiliated with? Well, you got a phone call, you know what I'm saying? Who was it?